Like having Why is this so weird? <laughs> it's well, a I very touristy I'm, thing to do. Well, I'm a fucking tourist, I don't come from here. I have my snacks, I have my sparkling water. <laughs> Stuff for dreams. Okay, Abby. Jealous. Workout form, you may make as many attempts at a one rep max clean as desired. Then you may make as many attempts at a one repetition oh, max look bench at the for the as feet. desired. Mm -hmm. Finally, you can take as many attempts as desired at a one rep max overhead squat. What's your role here tonight? Uh, just basically Yami's bitch, I think is the official title. He says do this, I do it. No, just helping set up, changing plates. Uh, just kind of that sort of stuff. I've cleaned 170. Yeah. 35 to 40 bunch. Yeah. Same on the overhead squats, actually. I would like to hit something like 160, 165. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's gonna be something. Tell me about the nutrition plan going into spectating this event. Uh, so I, I came with snacks because I enjoy snacking. Uh, I have a bottle of sparkling water that I believe somehow is funny to you and Bjogven. Like Why is this so weird? Um, and some potato chips. A couple of different packets of potato chips, but they're protein potato chips. What that means is, of course, they have enough protein in them to warrant splashing the word across the label. And everyone always says that that's a big marketing gimmick and it only attracts dumb people that don't understand how to read food labels. And guess what? I am those dumb people. I'm those dumb people. I don't give a fuck what anyone else says because if it's an excuse to eat more potato chips, I'll take it. Avi will always show up. I don't know why. I didn't even. We didn't even know that we were gonna swim tonight. I thought we were gonna do it tomorrow, and I hadn't like asked any of my family or anybody to comment. And I was like, so we called them. Like, what are you doing? And they were just about to eat dinner. And I was like, I think we're about to start doing the max out. Can you come? And he's like, I'm on my way. I'm here to see uh, my uh, granddaughter Catherine uh, compete uh, in the second part of the uh, open. And uh, I try to follow her wherever she goes, of course. <laughs> Day one, quarterfinals, and we are doing the max event. So it's actually meant for, but um, doing this fresh so that we can then um, do events one and two tomorrow. And then we'll only have one event to do on Saturday and one on Sunday. So both we're spreading it out a lot more so that we can give so much more to each event and then do these max events fresh, which I'm really excited to do. Yeah. 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 You'll finish the clean pretty fast because we'll just start when you're ready. So you'll hit like, what, two, maybe three attempts is really max, probably. If you have a good starting point, then you'll have like 25, you know, 20 minutes plus for the other lift. So you'll have time to do warm ups. We're about to lift some heavy ass weights, not <laughs>
Cheers on the camera, man. Woo! Oh, shit. I haven't cleaned 170 in five years, and I've never over squatted 165. And I've never benched 135. But <laughs> it's pathetic, but I know. Good, 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 good. Wow, that's a good lifter. Yeah. That's your goal, man. Andy says good job. Hi, you're a Nice. What? What? How much that was, was it? Some heavy ass. Wait, sorry. Whoa! Now we have been working hard on the strength, especially the squatting, which I felt definitely paid off in a workout like this. You know, I've never cleaned 170. Well, like I once cleaned 170, but I don't know how. When that was in 2017, so it's been five years since I cleaned this weight the last time, and I don't think I've gone heavier than 160 on the overhead squat, and I hit 165. The bench is just pathetic, but uh, that needs a little more work. I am through the roof on emotions right now. This is the first event of quarterfinals, but we started with event four. We never get to lift fresh. It's like we've been tapering all week, which I hate because I just want to be training. I've been eating more, which I also hate because we haven't been training. And it's so fun tonight to like, okay, I had a goal of 100 kilo clean, and I had a 105, which I can still count on one hand how often I've done. And I'm like, holy shit, this is a great start. We go on to bench and I've hit a 90 kilo and I hit 92 and I was like, cool. And Yami was like, try 95. So I just did a 95 and I'm like, holy shit, it's not moving down. It's still moving up. So I got a 95 and I'm like, whoa. So we go to the overhead squat and I was hoping like 110, that's still aggressive. And I was like, okay, I hope I get that. So when I got to it, I was like, I'll put a 111 on. And I got 111, and I'm so happy with it. And I'm like, heck yeah, I'm like, high five. And Annie, um, Lauren had Annie on FaceTime, so she was with us the whole time. And Annie was like, I, I turned the phone around, and I'm happy with it, and Annie's going, meira, meira, which just means more. And I was like, okay. So I put 115 on there, and I was kind of scared of it, to be completely honest, but once I got under it, I'm like, I'm not doing this just to do it, like, I'm committing, and I just went under it, and like, it went up, and it was an awesome over squat, so that was definitely a PR, the bench was a PR, it's a match of a PR for my clean, so, I like, it cannot have started any better. Like, this reminds me of like, how much I love competing. We're kicking off with day event two. This is the most technical one of the weekend. So get that out the way. It's a little grindy with the GHDs and the pistols, but there is the muscle up. So we get that one out the way, get a nice big break, and then do the event one later this afternoon. It's really weird. I really want to do this. <laughs> like watching them yesterday, I was actually at home. I wasn't able to go. And so I was like at home watching on FaceTime and then I had my bowl of popcorn and I was like freaking out like my palms were sweating watching the lift and I was like I just want to be there with him I also just know the feeling when you're like when you get to go and you're going for one of max in your environment with your people you're gonna max out and everything so I'm like I really wanted to go and just max out and everything uh, but yeah, it was really, really cool to watch, and now I feel the same. I just want to go, but I did my running in tools this morning. Now I'm just supporting them, and they get to support me in two weeks.
schon ziehen, Mann. Das war auch erst was mit der Left and left. Sure thing. <laughs> Obvious here. It'll all be fine. Okay, doing that workout after I did it. Why? He looked so good on the workout. He looked like picture perfect. He looked like how this workout should look. Ah! And after I did it, my abs are like crushed. It was really hard to turn over. And now I'm like, holy shit, how did he move so smooth? That's a hard combination. What's next for you guys? Oh, I'm really excited. That's the handsome push up lunch one. That one will be. It's almost been, yeah, it's close to like three, three and a half hours since I did the event two. And to finish the day off, we're gonna do event one. So you did a workout last night, you did a workout this morning. How's the body feeling? It hasn't been too much of a volume, uh, but I think that's coming today, especially for the lower body. A lot of like lunging, pistols, stuff like that. So I'll probably feel it tomorrow. Is this a good workout for the former gymnast? Hell yeah. It's just both, I think, ready. Like, there's no reason to have to stop anywhere. Um, whereas, like, for me and PK, like, he's so good at muscle-ups. Like, and I get stopped in muscle-ups. Here, there's no reason for either one of us to stop. Yo, 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 yo. Ah, the Olympic. Oh, my what does Triva mean? Hurry up, hurry up. Was hurry that up. your recommendation to Björgen and Katrin? Well, I was just saying this isn't like you don't have to be worried about anything in the lunges. Like you're not, they're never gonna blow up on lunges, you know. So just do them as fast as you can, and it's also less time under tension. Handstand push-ups, do them as fast as you can, and then rather break them up so that you don't blow up. Who would you put your money on? Oh, don't don't put money on spot like that. Yeah. I think the 50 and the 40 even, I didn't think 
about them at all before the World Cup, so I expected them to feel easier than they did. Uh, and especially with Katrin doing... <laughs> Like, yeah. I don't know, she probably got me by like 10 steps from the first 50. Yeah, she was very fast on those lines. Yes. It was the overhead, like double overhead lines, uh, because of, I can't get into like a nice position. Yeah. Let's get a hand down. No, don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> Just over here wasting Andrew's time. Andrew is a magician. It is insane the difference in my body before I see him and then after I see him. And I actually think he has this some kind of a gift. He can just look at me and he can see what's on and what's off. No, when Kara's walking, she wasn't stabilizing that well through her lower back, so it looks like... This is also feeling pretty tired, now I'm feeling it. So I'm just going to test what I thought I saw. So yeah, if you try pushing off to the side there. Yeah, see, and then the other side. Yeah, so both of those just not providing much support there. He's just showing you what he already knows. <laughs> yeah. Just making sure that you can see him. I think the workout went really well. I'm a little bit frustrated with myself because... I feel like it was a stupid mistake that I hadn't tested out 10 steps on the length that I was going. So after seven steps, I was like at the wall and I was like, no, so I have to do. So that just means that I have to do extra turns. But everything else I am happy with. Whoa, such a difference. Way better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's also the left that's side. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> Range Rover. What? Range Rover. <laughs> Range. Oh, Hi, I don't touch it. Range Rover. Me the cool zoo. I know. The technically, day one is done. Workouts one and two. We've obviously done workout four as well, so that leaves us with only one workout to do tomorrow, unless we want to do the fifth one as well. And that's actually an option to do the fifth one as well and possibly redo it on Sunday, which is nice. He has a full playroom to himself. This is room, huh? It's so great. This is our last day of competition. We have only the final workout left. It is kind of a cool workout because it's a banger. It's a fast one. Um, and yesterday was actually the only day that we went somewhere else because the ropes here are 14 feet. So we went to world class, um, really cool gym. And like all of BK's family came, all of my family came. So it was a real lot this year to, to hit that one. And that one was a grinder for sure. It was a really tough one. It's the last event. Um, we are here on a Sunday morning in beautiful Reykjavik city and BKG is about to set a new world record. That's what's about to happen. <laughs> no pressure. No pressure. So this workout, 30 calorie row, 20 burpee box jump overs and 10 snatches, 185, 135. It's a really kind of sneaky workout where it's very hard to find a balance between not going so slow that you regret it afterwards and going so fast that you regret it immediately. Three, two, one, go. You grab the handle. You have to hold on the handle until it goes to 30. Then you're gonna get off straight there, first rep. Steady pace on the burpees, but relaxed. Like, you know what might happen? You get the burpees and you have to go. Like, relax, relax. Save as much energy as you can, breathe.
And then I get slashed. Brothers are almost. That's a mob out. 45 pounder. 25. Thank you so much. Well done. I do. This morning. Many times. I get slashed. I'm so sad. Like I normally don't. Like I stress, but I don't stress that much. But I puked like three times. Like out of my house. When I came out of the car and then almost when I got into the gym. But you're an experienced competitor. Are you still puking before workout? Yes. Even more now. Because I was just so stupid when I started. And I was like, ah, well, I don't know. But now I just want to do better and better and better. So obviously I get stressed. It's a stressful workout because like every time it's a sprint you can't afford to make mistakes and you definitely don't want to have to do this workout again because it does take a lot out of you to do it so it's like i think these are the most fun but they're also the scariest workouts can you bring your arms up over here suddenly andrew appeared right before catherine's workout what was that call um i was just looking at catherine's movement and i saw that her upper back wasn't as stable as i wanted to in that receiving position of the snatch and this workout is so much about feeling confidence on those first few repetitions so you can then stay and hammer the remaining reps. I just wanted to get Andrew in and to make sure that we get everything working exactly like we want to and, and he was able to quickly identify the problem, get that fixed and I think it made a significant difference uh, in how the repetitions looked. Yeah, Yemi was quite right. There were some things that we needed to look at just to help to improve some of the mobility factors and control factors for Kat. Um, for that event. You know, that's one of the great things about Yami is that he's able to see those things and make that judgment call. Nice. If you give me 10 of those, I'll be happy. I'll be happy. Yeah, absolutely. Overall, very happy. Very happy with how everyone contributed to the effort, everyone chipping in, testing the events, being there to cheer the other athletes on. I love the spirit that we have going on in here. For BK, we had a pretty good execution all the way through the weekend. There were no major hiccups. We have a little bit something on the event one that we had to clean up afterwards, not meaning anything in the performance itself, but just identifying some things that we need to work on. And we were able to actually start that work already this weekend. So really good. Um, for Katrin, the biggest positive was the total. It was a really amazing performance on the total. It's nice to see that all the work that we've been doing on her strength is paying off. And then we could also see that the transitions in some of the movements that we've been working on, like the muscle ups, are starting to pay off as well, even though we have more work to do. Progress is progress. And then finally, they definitely both had good attitudes coming in the weekend and they pushed through, even in the face of some adversity that we had on some of the events, they were able to just bounce back and give them best. So many improvements on this off season. It's nice to see that it's paying off and the body is also responding very well with help from very good people. But I'm, I'm at the spot where I need to be. The next couple of months will be uh, preparation for the semis and then hopefully punch to take it to the games and then Games prep. Now that we finish this competition, we'll have a group of athletes that will get ready for the semi-finals. And we are hoping to get the earlier rather than the later semi-finals, of course. 
and then we have the team going in a couple weeks, so they're gonna have their own quarterfinals. So these guys will get a little bit of a chill week um, to start off with, but the team will be going full blast to, to be ready in a few weeks' time.